parking tickets with a QR code. The Alhambra Police Department is trying to figure out where the tickets came from and if anyone fell victim. Susan Harasuna, she joins us now live from Alhambra with those details. Susan. Well, the police say that in just one southeast Alhambra neighborhood, they saw these fake tickets. Police say that there is now an investigation to figure out who's behind the tickets and whether or not the scam was to collect more than just money, maybe something more nefarious. Bad news for this driver, a parking ticket, and there's no doubt this one is real. But earlier this week, five people reported to police receiving this fake parking ticket for a street cleaning violation. The ticket includes instructions to go to a non-existent website or pay using this QR code. Well, we're taking it very seriously because we don't want um, our citizens to be scammed out of their money. Uh, we also don't know what's going to happen if they scan that um, QR code. So, you know, we don't want any malware or anything like that to be put on their phones. The fake ticket showed up overnight Monday to Tuesday, a time when no street sweepers nor parking enforcement officers would be out ticketing. Judy Rodriguez has lived in Alhambra more than 20 years. Yeah. But as a longtime resident, you know that that would not have been a proper citation and you would have contested it or at least called. Angela Efros wonders what she would do if she found this on her windshield. I'm not sure that I would know to question it. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that people are letting people know and spreading it around because otherwise if I saw that, I'd probably, you know, busy day, rush, 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 just oops, okay. <laughs> The Alhambra Police Department posted images of the fake ticket as well as examples of legitimate parking tickets on social media. So far, Alhambra, population 100,000, is the only city reporting this kind of scam. At, at first glance, it, they look pretty legitimate. I mean, you know, the QR code and everything else says City of Alhambra on them. That might be the only accurate information on the fake ticket. Even the cost of the violation is incorrect. The fines were listed on there as $53. And is that accurate? No. Oh, okay. Cars are actually a little bit more than that. The uh, street sweeping violation is actually closer to $65. Now, if you got one of those fake tickets or you know someone who did, report it to police and do not, even if you're curious, scan that QR because there is a method to collect your private data when you do something like that. Reporting live in Alhambra, I'm Susan Hirosuna, Fox 11 News.